So joining me at Hartbury is Gloucester's Dan Robson. Dan, you played a key part in uh, Billy Twelvesry's try on Saturday evening. How crucial could that bonus point be that we gained? Uh, very crucial, to be honest, at the end of the season. I mean, every point counts and the boys dug in really a lot at the end of the game to stop them getting their bonus point as well and, and score that try at the end. It, it, it really gave us a lift. Obviously that game, uh, we came up short just at the end, but do you think that the team can take quite a lot of confidence from the game? Yeah, definitely. I mean, we know we know we didn't play as well as we could do. We didn't have much ball and we, we defended pretty well. We know structurally we were, we were good. A few, a few mismatches and stuff that happened that gave them a few easy tries, but overall we're pretty happy. We've got a lot to work on, so that's good come three points short of the champions, so a lot of positives. Would you assess that there's a change in mentality this season? Obviously in past seasons it could be assumed that Gloucester would uh, crumble under the pressure of a team of the top four, but actually we fought back to Quinns and got so close. Yeah, I mean a lot of people have said if that happened, if that game happened last year or the last couple of seasons we would have crumbled and, and it would have been a bit of a thrashing and it's definitely a new mentality. I mean people want to play for each other, which is a massive thing and everyone's enjoying playing at the minute. So. It's to stop them getting tries and stuff. It means a lot. It's not that kind of if we're losing, just like roll over and die. And it's been a key factor of us getting results and keeping point, keeping within games. On a personal level, a lot will be written about how the arrival of Jimmy Cowan's affecting your own game. Would you assess that your your game's developing for working from him? Yeah, massively. I mean, it's such a great guy to have around. Obviously, 50 odd caps for New Zealand. You can't learn off at any, at anyone better than that. And you just got to use that. I'm still young. I've still got a lot lot in me. So I've just got to keep keep playing and keep learning from him and, and keep picking things up of what he can do and add it to my own game and hopefully in the long run it'll pay off. Do you feel that with the LV Cup coming up in the next few days, um, do you feel this is an opportunity for you to really stake a claim for the starting jersey and put in some good performances? Yeah, I mean, obviously we, we've had a lot of uh, influence and uh, Nigel and the team really want to do well in each, each of the competitions we're in, so we, we want to do well and per, on a personal note you obviously want to play well and we, we find that if we play well as a team, like individually, it, it happens. So we, we focus a lot on a team performance at the minute, and I'm looking forward to just getting out there again, starting and, and having a good game.